to uh, 2 Samuel chapter 11. 2 Samuel chapter 11. I'm going to start in that verse number 1. And you guys hold the bookmark here. We're going back to this chapter. But the Bible reads, And it came to pass, after the year was expired, at the time when kings were forth to battle, that David sent Joab and his servants with him in all Israel, and to destroy the children of Ammon, and besiege Rabbah. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. So that a word of prayer. Dear God, I pray that Holy Spirit will come upon me right now, Lord. And that everything I say before your glory, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Now, if you look there in verse number 1, the Bible reads, And it came to pass, after the year was expired, and I want you to look close at this uh, phrase where it says, At the time when kings go forward to battle. You see, in this uh, story right here, David was supposed to go to battle, a physical battle, but the Bible says that David chose rather to sit back and tarry at Jerusalem. And the title of my sermon tonight is, A Time When Kings Go Forward to Battle. You see, Today we are no longer called to fight a physical fight. We are called to fight a spiritual fight, unlike David had a fight. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places. Today we have a generation of spiritual King Davids, of preachers, who just are sitting around walking on the roofs, not preaching the, the, the about sin, they're uh, fornicating, they're, they're living the sins that they should be preaching on. And instead of being out uh, soul winning, they're wasting their time walking on roofs committing sin. Yep. Now, yeah, some yeah. of you might be saying, well, I'm not a king, brother. I thought battles are for kings. But turn with me really quick to Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1, so we can see what God says about that. And we're going to start at verse number 5 to kind of get the context of the chapter. The Bible says, Revelation 1, 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, of the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and had made us what? Kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let me ask you something here tonight. Are you a saved Christian? Amen. Because according to Revelation chapter 1, if you are a saved Christian, you are a king and a priest. And if we are kings and priests, my question is, why are we not all out soul winning at least once a week? Amen. Amen. Hey, let me, let me, uh, I lost my spot here, man. And, uh, the problem is that even though I preach on this subject, even though preachers preach on this subject, still we have a bunch of independent, fundamental King James Bible-believing so-called Christians who still refuse to sit around, who still refuse to not preach hard on sin, and they do nothing. That's right, all right. That's what David did, folks. Look, look at 2 Samuel chapter 11 again. Look at verse 1. And it came to pass after the year was expired, at the time when kings go forth to battle, that David did what? Sent Joab and his servants with him in all Israel, while David did what? While he sat back. Now let me ask you guys something. Isn't that something that the independent political movement is doing right now? They're yeah. sending us out for them, like David sent his people out. They're sending us. Uh, the church is like us, while they're sitting around doing nothing, they want us to hold the floor for them. They want us to fight their battles for them because they love the world. Because they love Sodom and Egypt. Because they love money. Amen. That's right. They don't want to sound the alarm. They don't want to warn the sheep. The Bible says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. We are losing the spiritual battle today, and it's because watchmen, it's because preachers, they've seen the, they've seen the battle, they've seen the sword coming a long time ago, years back, but they still refuse to sound the trumpet, they still refuse to preach hard on sin, therefore death and destruction is coming upon this nation soon. Now, uh, Ezekiel 33, you don't got to turn it for sake of time, but it says in verse number 5, but if the watchmen see the sword come, they've seen it. And blow not the trumpet. Have they blown the trumpet? No. No. It says, and the people be not warned. Have they warned anybody about sin? Not today. Nope. Only a few of us. If the war, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the hand of the watchman. That's the pastors, my friends. Yeah. Amen. People are saying, oh, the Freemasons, the Illuminati's, they're bringing forth the one world government. I say preachers are preparing the way for the Antichrist right, because they are right, yeah. blind, they are ignorant, they are dumb dogs that yeah. cannot bark. That's, that's right. They preach hard on sin. They're the problem, and yeah. that's why the Antichrist will come. Yeah. Yeah. So the Antichrist will come someday, we know that, and he will kill many of God's saints. 
But why? Because they're also sleeping. Because the pastors, the, the, they're not crying out, they're not preaching on sin. Daniel 7, you're not trying to forsake the time, but Daniel 7, uh, 25 says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. That's us saved people. And think to change times and laws. They're trying to push this spaghetti down our throat, this boy yeah, that way, garbage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it says, yeah. And they shall be given into his hand, <laughs> which are to save people Faggot until tree. a time and a time and a variety I love that of word. time. And so because the watchmen have been sleeping, God is going to use the Antichrist. He's going to allow the Antichrist to punish his people with the sword, with death, with beheadings. But the Bible also says that God will require the blood of the people at the watchman's hand. It's going to be the required by those preachers who never preached on sin and will let this country go down the drain. Now, let me say something... Uh, that doesn't mean we should be afraid. That shouldn't mean we should stop sowing. We shouldn't fear these people. That's right. Because, for one, we have right here a godly pastor. We have a godly watchman who watches over this church. That's right. He's preached. Man. And think about this. The whole world has heard our trumpet. The whole world has heard Pastor, Pastor Jimenez's trumpet. That's right. Their blood shall not be upon our hands. Right. We preach hard on sin here. We tell them that those fags aren't allowed in here. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case they did it. See, Pastor Jimenez sounded the trumpet. He cried out loud, did he not? Yeah. But look at this. Pastor Jimenez also, when they came back with them, he said, did we hear right, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? See, they weren't sure if they heard right because the other pastors are not preaching on it. Uh -huh. And the pastor said, yes. Hey, he picked up a spiritual trombone and a blue trombone to make sure they hear that sound of war. That's right. spiritual right. warfare. So don't be afraid of them. Don't feel afraid to get in the fight, in the in the spiritual battle. I'm not saying to go there and fight with these homos to go to these parades like these other, I don't know what these people are thinking. They shouldn't even be there. Yeah, They're a bunch yeah, of exactly. reprobates that can't be saved. Yeah, right, right. Our, look, the battle is going to almost be lost. And here's what you have to remember. No matter how bad, no matter how uh, bad persecution will come on this country, on this nation, on the world, our chief commander... Our Savior, Jesus Christ, will come with a shout one day. He will save us all, praise God, and we will still go to heaven. He will not kill us all. you got to remember that. And it's Jesus who finishes that final battle for us because we obviously can't do it in the flesh. But let me warn you here tonight that if, if you, if you, uh, uh, sorry, my, yeah, if you're not in your church when those protesters come, if you're not out so anyone, you still have the opportunity, if preachers are not still preaching hard on sin, my friends, your head will be the first to come off with that if you come on yeah, the yeah. And you might say, well, I'm offended. I don't think you should say that, brother. But let's see what Luke chapter 21 has to say about that really quick. Luke chapter 21. See if you would be going so many more often, you wouldn't be offended. Luke 21, right. look at verse 36. I'm going to see this. It says, Watch ye therefore, because we should all be watching. Right? It says, and pray always. Are we always praying? Pray for what? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Talk about the great tribulation. And shall and, and to stand before the Son of Man. Now you got to understand, it is a privilege to, if, the, if God's coming is in our lifetime, it is a privilege, it is an honor to be able to stand before Christ. To stand in the flesh, never experience physical death in his body. It is a privilege. And uh, if you are not out in the battle, if, if you don't get go out so any, why would God give you that privilege? Why would you be worthy to endure till the end? Yep, yep. You know who's going to endure till the end? It's going to be the people that are sitting here tonight. The people that are going out so any. And soldiers like Jeremiah, who went through pr prisons, who went through persecutions... People like him will endure till the very end because they will be the ones accounted worthy to endure till the end. So the questions I have for you tonight is, are you in the battle? Are you in the battle? Or are you still sitting back in Egypt, walking on your roofs, committing sin? Amen. 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 I pray that you just help us to apply these things to our heart, Lord, and that we, if you're coming, would be in our time, Lord, that we would be accounted worthy, Lord, to endure till the end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Preacher is David Santiago. David Santiago. 
Thank you.